Good morning, Conway Christian. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope that you had a great weekend in whatever you uh, got to do this last weekend and that you're ready for this final stretch. Guys, there are not that many days left. and I know you're going to hear it a bunch of different times, uh, but finish strong. Uh, do well here in these last few days and finish up what God has called us to this year. Um, today for chapel, uh, something really cool. Uh, a couple weeks ago at Brumley, I was getting ready to preach and I got a text from a senior uh, here that said that God had just laid something on their heart and they wanted to share in chapel. And so, of course, I was uh, very excited about that. And uh, I'm very proud to say that Brady Calloway has recorded something awesome for us and she's going to share it with us uh, here in chapel today. We're also going to hear after Brady uh, from uh, Amy Ling and Jayla Kramer and Marshall Cunningham, who are all uh, recent graduates who are now following Christ on their college campuses. And so they're going to talk to you a little bit about how to keep this going. And so the theme today is there on your screen from Psalm 37. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their life. Guys, and that's true about each one of you. God cares about you and delights in how he guides and directs you. And that's what Brady's going to talk to you about today. And again, I'm so proud of her and thankful for her being willing to do this. Uh, she's going to pray for uh, you as she gets ready to get started. So I will turn it over to her. And I just ask that you would uh, give her your heart uh, for a few minutes today and that you would just pay attention to what the Lord has directed uh, for her to say and to share. Um, all right, here we go. Hi, guys. Um, I don't know what Dr. Crow has said, but um, I'm Bray Calloway, and I'm a senior here at Con Christian. And God just really put on my heart to speak at chapel. And if you know me at all, you know that I, this is so far out of my comfort zone. So if this goes horribly wrong, um, you'll probably never see me again. I'll be too embarrassed to show my face at school, but hopefully it doesn't. But you never know. Uh, I'm gonna start us off with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, um, I just thank you for everything that you've given to us. Uh, I thank you for this school and uh, for all the people in it. Um, I pray that you will just open the hearts of the people listening and just speak your word through me. Um, please help us throughout this day and help us honor and glorify you through all that we say and do. In your name we pray. Amen. So the main passage that I'm focused on today is uh, Colossians 3, 1 through 4. And it says, So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things above. Where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God, set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will appear with him in glory. Um, so, at the beginning of my senior year, I uh, thought I had my whole life planned out, kind of, figured out, for like the next five years, honestly. And that just kind of sounds crazy when I say it out loud, but I guess you just had to be there. I don't know. Everything just seemed like it was going to work out. Um... But God has just like really revealed to me in the last seven-ish months that everything that I was just striving for and uh, everything that I wanted was of the world and just was not eternal. Um, and a thing that a pastor said the other day that really stuck out to me, um, he said, Life is being hidden with Christ, and misery is being hidden from Christ. Um, and so, it's kind of hard to focus on God and uh, surrender to God in your teenage years because the world is awful. Um, you just the world makes you want to fit in, and uh, when if you're with Christ, like you're going to stand out. Um, and many people our age or, you know, in high school, um, they think that, like, they can just pick up God later. Um, but if you <laughs> just surrender to him now, um, it will save you from a lot of pain and uh, heartache and just disappointment. Um, but all of this kind of reminds me of a verse in John 15. Uh, it's verse 18. It says, if the world hates you, understand that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. However, because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of it, the world hates you. Um, so, like like I said earlier, it's just really hard to not be of the world at this age. Um, 
you just really have to surrender to God and just just focus every day that you are not of this world, like that you want to be more like Him, and you have to make that choice every day. Um, you know, you're not gonna do everything that your friends are doing. Um, you're not gonna fit in, uh, and you might have a little less stories to tell your kids. You know, about being fun and crazy and dumb in high school, um, but it is going to help you so much in the long run. Um, another main thing that we have to focus on is that we're always reaping what we're sowing. Um, that kind of sounds like everything that, you know, if you grew up in church, you've heard that so many times. Reaping what you're sowing. You're always reaping what you're sowing. Well, it has just so much truth in it. Like, your seeds are always multiplying. For every decision you make, there's going to be a consequence, good or bad. And even though you're 16 and you don't think that what you do is going to affect anyone. It's going to affect you in the long run, and it's probably going to affect your family and um, just crazy things. Um, so you just have to remember that the choices you make, uh, they're going to affect you, and you're going to reap what you sow, and they, they can also affect more than you. Um, they can hurt other people, and you just have to, you just have to surrender to God and just help just pray that he'll just help you through everything that you're going through um but so the main thing of today is just that yeah we're in high school um it's hard to surrender to god um it's hard to go that route instead of going like the easy route and the way the world wants you to go um because ev not everyone's doing it um you know it's just, it's going to be hard, um, but in the long run, if you focus and set your heart and mind on the things that are eternal and that are of God, um, you're going to, it's going to save you a lot of hurt and pain and everything that the world will throw at you. Um, and so this, I just say all this to say that you think that you're just living life now and that it is just gonna end up how it ends up and you're gonna focus about God uh you're gonna focus on him later um but that's just you shouldn't do that because it's just gonna hurt you more in the long run and you just really need to surrender to Christ now and give your life to him now um to help you through life and it'll just give you so much more in the end and um it'll just make it that much better so hopefully all this made sense and all of it tied together um i'm really nervous actually to just see what is going to happen but um i just felt like god just really put this on my heart to say and um yeah so i hope you enjoyed it um if anyone ever needs to talk to me um i don't know if i give good advice but um i can always listen and so don't don't be scared to reach out. Feel free to reach out. Um, I've gone through a lot of things, and I feel like God has really just prepared me um, for life and for everything. So if you uh, or has been preparing me, but not preparing me like fully, Ooh, that would be scary. Um, so yeah, if you ever need anything, um, I'm always here. You can just come up to me anytime. I feel like I'm a pretty you know coachable person, but you know. Uh, but yeah, uh, I love every one of y'all. Just have a great day. <laughs> okay. Try so bad. Ugh, I'm so nervous. <laughs>Hey, this is Amy. I graduated from Conway Christian School last year. I'm concurring a college student studying interior design in UCA. And I want to share some of my experience of us uh, in college. I found a lot of students after they graduate high school, they decide to start going to church, start reading their Bible, and hang out with their friends, party, do whatever they want, and forgot what they've been teach. Uh, through the school year. Um, I just want to encourage you that to find a community inside the school. A lot of uh, school, college, ministry will help you uh, engage with their activities. One of the um, 
group that I joined. It's called Conway BCN, which shortened for Baptist Collegiate Ministry, which helps students to engage in Christian communities that let us know that you don't have to quit become a Christian, even you become a college student. Um, our mission is helping those that haven't heard the gospel or you already have to share uh, the gospels with other students that haven't known about it. So BCN happens every Monday at seven, uh, located at Wulun High Baptist Church, that every student's welcome, welcome to come. So we will have a, a service. First, we will have worship, we have service, then we're dividing in uh, small groups, which where you can start your small communities, which is really important for a college student because that's a best way to learn, to reach out and to have more friends, especially during this COVID seasons. And a lot of our group, because it's really small, so you can be really open with what's your thoughts. It will really help you with your spiritual growing. And some, some people might think that we are really boring because we are just the other church, whatever. But BC, it's not just church. We surf hard, we play hard. Uh, our biggest event we like is to play volleyball. I can't play, but I'm the cheer team, whatever. Um, we love to um, engage with people by doing every kind of activity you can think about, hiking, camping. We love to do that. A lot of time people come, they sometimes may like it, sometimes may, like, some may not like it, but sometimes they do. And it's not, I just want to encourage people just join one, at least one of the college uh, ministry. There's only, not only BCN, they have crew, Chi Alpha, uh, pers Perspective, I believe it's how it calls. Um, anyway, you don't have to start to become Christians. Going to college, it's just one step for, for you to continue your Christian life. College college should be one of the your big moment in your life it's a four year that you can make friends create your, your lifetime career and it's the best way to um creating a good christian community share gospel with others for the people that who haven't heard the gospel yet there's 90 percent of students in this campus and you see it right now they haven't know the gospels bc encourage we our mission it's not just um, individualism to other countries sometimes people may think ministry have to be out of state no ministry can be just here in this community so i encourage you even you graduate high school you are still part of christian community and continue to create more discipleship and create more friends in college. I just want to let you know, whenever you start going to college, you're going to meet friends that, a lot of friends that will tell you Christianity wasn't a thing. Jesus didn't die on the cross for you. And that it's certainly not true. And it is your time to identify yourself, who you really are, not just your parents religious, but for yourself. And you have to have uh, the right concept in the mind to know that you are uh, who you really are, who you really believe in. And Christian community will definitely help you to gain your knowledge and uh, strong your salvation and belief. And I just want to give you a verse. Uh, Col Colossians 3.23 Whatever you do, work work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, for not for human masters. That Remember that all the work, all the things that you do, it's for the glory of the God. It's not for yourself. And I just want to encourage you all to join a college ministry because it's going to help not just right now, but help the futures. I just wanted to talk to y'all about like my little first experience with college and then something awesome that I've joined that I think y'all should join too if y'all ever coming to UCA, CBC, or Hendrix. So I say when it was like around August I was trying to make some new friends 
and I personally want like wanted to join things because when you first into a new school you want to you know get involved and like meet new people and like be involved at the school so I've I, I've made a few friends who are like around this same group and I've asked them like what things like I should join and like things like I should do and one of my friends said well we're all in this thing called BCM and we think you should join it too. I really want to encourage y'all to do this too. We have like a lot of people there and I've made really some close connections and I've met some other people from you know our school too that I, I talk to all the time. Just Amy's there, Marshall's there, Katie Hall's there. I mean, it, it, it's a party. <laughs> but it's I've I've learned from experience, cause like I wanted to do a little bit more outside of my church, just only only because I just I just felt like I needed to meet new people, and BCM is one incredible way you could do that. The people there are so nice, always very welcoming. <laughs> Most of them are pretty funny too. They will, they'll give you a good laugh. It's always a little bit more than just doing the worship and small group stuff. It's just, it's one awesome way to get closer to God, and it, it changed my life for the better, and I absolutely love it. Hey everyone, it's Marshall here, and I just want to echo some of the same things that Amy and Jayla were saying about BCM. It's been a great opportunity for me this year to kind of grow my faith and kind of make it my own. Because when you get out into college and all that, it's kind of hard to keep showing me your faith when you have so many people around you saying so many different things. I've really been able to grow this year, meet some great people, kind of get involved. Like, I'm on the media team at BCM, so I run the live streams. I help with sound, I can I help run Pro Presenter, all that stuff. But overall it's a great experience and something I highly recommend and I hope to see you all there next year. Mm -hmm.